He didn't really knock. It seemed like he was simply licking the front door. It was hard to tell what noise he was making, but it certainly wasn't knocking. The only knocking she heard was her heart rolling loose around inside of her ribcage. It had come detached days ago when she first met him. He had been like a hurricane that went straight through her skeleton. It shook her nerves and unlatched her tendons so that she had completely come apart. She wasn't new to hurricanes, but this was the first time that it was so personal. There had been no warnings from the weatherman, and her once broken arm didn't give her a warning of change in the weather, no. He just walked into her, straight through her. I don't even know if he stopped and gave her his name. Somehow he learned where she lived, and he invited himself to her home. He had to. She was dumb. She could not speak. Her eyes couldn't widen any more. And when they did, he stepped into them. And now all she could see was him. Like some filter or novelty sunglasses. Everywhere she looked for the next two days, she saw him. For him, he was reminded that he had been raised in the woods by wolves. Not really, but he was an animal in many ways. And his heart had been caught in a trap many years earlier. And yet... As he slouched toward her home, he heard the tinkling of his once-lost heart suddenly appearing as if it had never been lost at all. It was rusty like the nails you find in the door that has been torn from its hinges and left sitting useless in the living room of an abandoned home. Something that had once been so useful, but was now absolutely useless. And yet there it was again, the heart moving, blood around inside of him, keeping time as he picked up his pace. Where was he going? Her home? Why was he in a hurry to go to her? Maybe it wasn't about home. Maybe he was in a hurry because he had seen something that might have been more like home than the home where he lived. Too much for him to think. He would go to her home, yes, but it wasn't to be anywhere in particular. And when he got to her door, he did lick it. He admitted that to her later. He wanted to see if he could make the slightest noise and still get her attention. And he did. And she thought about what it would be like if he were to lick her. And he was impressed that she had survived his hurricane. Both of their hearts fumbled to keep some kind of rhythm, but eventually they found one. And all night long they would be together. And the two of them did not want to separate because they didn't want their hearts to fall out of rhythm. And so they stayed together all night, pressing their chests together so that their hearts could dance. And that's what their hearts did. A cha-cha. A rumba. A waltz.